Could I have a large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso, please? Yeah, can I get you anything else for today? That's it. Beautiful, it'll be two ninety-five for the windows. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Very much. They're heroes, you know. Yesterday I was saying I'm kind of a hero. I bring people their stuff every day. What would we do without Tim's? I'd have to go to Starbucks. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, I don't mean to give you nightmares. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did a poll on my YouTube channel here. You might have seen it a little while ago. What's your favorite coffee? I forgot to include Flying J Bean to Cup or just Flying J Coffee. Because that's one of my favorites as well. I can't believe I forgot it. So maybe we'll do a new poll this weekend. We'll add that one in there, see if it wins. But Tim's didn't win. Yeah. A lot of you are on the fence about Tim Hortons. And I think that might be because you live in a part of the world where you have not experienced it yet. And that is completely understandable. Completely understandable. But once you experience it, your life changes forever. The sky is bluer. The winter is not quite as cold. And you feel real pumped up, ready to go. But you have to add an espresso shot. People always point out that. You know, I always talk about how great Tim's coffee is. <laughs> it's a Canadian staple. It's a... Uh, if you live in Canada, chances are you're within walking distance of Tim Hortons, unless if you live in a rural community, which is probably only about like a five minute drive from the nearest Tim Hortons. They're everywhere. Everywhere. So it's kind of, I guess, cliche saying, oh, you're Canadian, eh? You gotta like Tim Hortons, eh? You gotta like the hockey, eh? Yes! Yes, I like them both. I do. I swear this guy in front of me ordered Thanksgiving dinner for the entire office in the drive-thru. One bag. Two bags. Three bags. Oh, well, there's a bunch of coffee coming in now. If you're going to order that much, I would suggest you go inside. But who am I to judge? A lot of people are scared to go indoors in public places, and they're also uh, lazy. No judgment there. I'm in the drive-thru. I'm lazy too. No judgment. Damn it. Thank you. See, that's how long a transaction at a window is supposed to take. But I am guilty of the same thing. Every now and then I go through the drive-thru and I order a whole bunch of food. <laughs> no judgment, like I said, not judging. Just saying, just saying. Maybe all of us need to be a little more courteous sometimes. Some of us got things to do. People are depending on me to bring them their stuff. Why don't you wake up earlier then, Trucker Josh? Hush, you and your common sense. Stop that. We don't need any of that right here. Here they are. Here they are. Let's turn the lights off. It was you. Somebody's office is going to be very happy this morning, though. Everybody's getting Tim's today. It's Friday. Tim's for you. Tim's for you. Tim's for you. Everyone's going Oprah with Tim's. Cold weather is on the way. Can you see the sun dogs? The polar vortex is coming. I guess the weatherman was right. It's supposed to drop down tonight to about minus 30 again. Probably about minus 50 with the wind chill. And then it's supposed to be cold like that all next week. Fantastic! Just what we wanted. So on that note, let's start the day. It's going to be a good day. It's Friday. Have I told you yet? It's quickly becoming my favorite day of the week. bunch of stuff to drop off in Steinbach and then I got a bunch of stuff to pick up and then we go over to Yonzi over to like, the Rosenschnord area drop it off over there and then we'll see what this beautiful Friday has in store for us then hope you're having a good day tell yourself right now it's gonna be 
Frankie, I have big news. Do you want to go for a ride with Mom? Go get your nails trimmed? And you can scream like you're being murdered? Yeah, and give the ladies a hard time at Best West Pets? Do you want to go with Mom for a car ride? Okay, don't look too excited. Not you guys. No, not you guys. Just Frank. Oh my goodness. Oh, so dramatic. Oh my goodness. Someone needs a belly rub. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Wiener. You got to hold down the fort, okay? You got to take care of the house. You guys too, okay? We'll be very, very quick. Although the roads aren't very good, so. Can you sit down for me? Chevy? Hello. Oh, hello. Someone wants to come. Diesel, will you take care of the house? I'll be, I'll be back pretty quick. Let's see how much snow is out there. Woo wee! It snowed quite a bit, hey buddy? Let's go. Did you order all this snow? Did you? Are you looking for goodies? I don't think you're gonna find many. Hey, no, you stay there. I turned your, your seat heat on. Should warm up pretty soon. Hey, are you ready to go? What a good boy. Just another day in paradise, southern Manitoba. Isn't it a beautiful day? Oh, that blowing snow? No, that's, that's, that's not blowing snow. That's blowing uh, Manitoba spirit. Yes, that's what we'll call it, Manitoba spirit. Wasn't our slogan for a while, spirited energy? You see all that spirited energy flowing across the road? Look at that sun dog off on the left there. You see that? That's not the sun. That's that's the sun dog that's going all the way around the sun off to my left. Man, is it going to get cold. <laughs> I'm so glad it's Friday. I'm just going to go and hide in the house. Turn up the heat and watch a good movie all weekend, I think. A couple of good movies. Not just one. This truck is really struggling in this wind though. She's getting her done though. Getting her done. The old freight shaker. She's got some she's got some behind her. We can do it. So we're on Highway 75 southbound. If uh if I continue going right now, I would end up in the United States. And we don't go there. We don't go there right now. Or anymore. Maybe in the future. We're waiting for a few things to get sorted out. But for now, we're uh, avoiding that. A couple of big things coming down the pike there, I think, that, uh, like I said, need to be sorted out first. You'll see. You'll see. All in time. All will be revealed. So, now we got to go down to, I think, Highway 206, is it? And we got to head directly into this wind. I turn right, go directly into it, headed west towards Rosenor. That should be fun. All right, it's a 205, not the 206. We're now headed westbound. Now it looks like the wind is coming out of the north. I thought it was coming from the west before. Did it change? I guess that explains all the cold weather on the way. So the air that's on the way here with this with this wind is coming from Nunavut and Northwest Territories. So thanks, guys, up there. I'm very glad that you shared your wonderful polar vortex with us again. Very much appreciated. And from here it heads on down into the U.S. So all of those colder temperatures that I'm sure you guys are going to be enjoying down there. You can thank our northern residents. Or maybe it came all the way from Russia. We can blame Russia. What happened to that? I thought everything was Russia's fault like a couple of years ago. What happened to that trend? You don't hear about that anymore. Come on, baby. Paul. Paul. Oh, she's not liking the wind. She's not liking the wind. 
gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Get a little bit of a break from this farm. And then back into it. Oh yeah. Oh, it just pushes the whole truck over. Yeah, I'm just like a giant billboard. Good times. It's a good day, isn't it? It's a good day. We have arrived. Best West Pets, the newest pet store in Steinbach. And someone is very excited. He hates getting his nails done, but he loves getting a special treat at the end or a toy. So he knows he's smart as a whip, this guy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Excited? Should we go in? We're a little early. We're 12 minutes early, dude. Do you think they'll accept us? We'll probably have to see the good people when we get back in the car because I don't think they'll let us film in there. And even, even if they do, they wouldn't be able to understand me with a mask on. So let's do it. Let's go. I think while I'm in there, I'm going to get Diesel a new frog and maybe a couple other cheap toys because our dogs destroy toys way too quick for us to spend an arm and a leg on them. So let's hope that there's some deals or we'll just get the cheapy squeaker toys. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm taking too long. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, stop shaking, it's not cold. Your, your, your seat's heated, man. Look at that, eh? Almost all the way around the sun. That's beautiful. But it's also kind of ominous. <laughs> Better get out your winter park, because if you haven't by now, I don't know why you wouldn't have by now, but it's about to get real. Cool the way that works though, eh? Have you ever seen these? Excuse me, sir. Oh, you know, you know. Got you a treat and a toy this time. Get out of there. Let me get you a treat. Oh, look, look. Don't tell your brothers, it's turkey. Something that they're not allowed to have because of Chevy's allergies. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is for being such a good boy and not biting the lady. Although you did scream. Hey, pull it out, pull it out of there. Oh, you got half of it. Oh, is that numbs? You earned it, buddy. Enjoy. Oh, turkey lurkey, so good. So scrumptedly umptious. Thankfully, his nails don't grow very quick, so I only need to get them done like every 10 or 12 weeks. Thank goodness, because that is so traumatic for him. I feel so bad for the people cutting his nails. Also for him, he's old. There's no breaking this trauma and this, this anxiety, so whatever. We got it done. Now we don't need to do it for another like two and a half months. Today really seemed to fly by. It's minus 19 right now. And it's supposed to go down even further tonight yet. Let's see, we're looking at only minus 27 tonight, minus 34 tomorrow and Monday. No, tomorrow and Sunday. With the warmest part of the day only being at minus 27 on Sunday. That's without the wind chill. That's wonderful. The wind chill right now is minus 31. So it's winter time here. The coldest part of the year in Manitoba is the last two weeks of January and the first two weeks of February. After that, it starts warming up for spring. By the time my birthday rolls around on April 1st, we usually got maybe a few small piles of snow lying around, but the grass is starting to turn green. By the time May gets here, the, the trees and flowers start to bloom. And then June comes, and all the fields start growing. Everything turns green. June is one of my favorite times of year. It's not as hot as July and August, but... Wish it lasted longer. <laughs> One day I'll be retired and every winter 
I'm gonna go and hang out in Florida with all the other snowbirds. I'm gonna play bingo every day. It's gonna be great. Naturally, being the amazing mama that I am, tooting my own horn, toot toot, I had to get some new toys. Diesel! Oh, super soft down in your bra! Oh my goodness. And a dino? Yeah. And another dino? Do you want this one? Yeah. Take them. Go ahead. You know, I love taking them off the table usually, but. Yes, me, I got one for you. You know I would never leave you up. Hey, 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 hey. Share. What you got? What you got? <laughs> oh, this is going to be irritating all night. Oh, my goodness. Diesel, where's your frog? Where is it? Oh my goodness. What you got? Chevy. You got a dino? Wow. And everybody's happy. Hey, Frank. You're just waiting to swoop in and take everybody's toys. Wiener. You got a dino? Frankie, there's nothing else up there. What you got, Wiener? Well, Britt and the boys kind of commandeered the vlog today. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Where is everybody? Where's everybody? Hi. Oh, there's the weasel. Britt's at work right now while I'm closing this up. But, uh... I asked her to uh, film a little bit during the day when she can while I'm at work. I'd really like this to be uh, more of a vlog about our life together and not just my life all the time. But anyways, Frankie got his nails done as you saw. He's all pretty now. Apparently it was quite a scene. I didn't know it. She didn't tell me that it was like, apparently it's a little difficult to get his nails clipped. That's why we bring him to the professional because he doesn't like getting his nails clipped at all. Uh, and they all got new toys. By the time I got home, they were all mostly destroyed. But I got to play with them a little bit. So that was fun. They saved some for me. Brit's at work right now, and it's just us boys at home now. Don't look so excited, everybody. Don't look so excited. Woo! Fool, party, fool. You're all sad. As soon as Britt leaves the house, especially Wiener, as soon as she leaves the house, he gets all sad. Mm. Mm. Poor Wiener, he needs his mom. And the big guys are in here. You guys have fun? Did mom bring you new toys? Did she? Huh, that's pretty nice of her, eh? That's pretty nice. Yeah, you never bring us new toys, man, so it's mom. She used to bring her off toys. It's true. I know. I, I guess I've got to step up my game if I want to be the favorite. So thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe. If you uh, haven't already, we make new videos pretty much every day. You can follow us on our daily lives as we get through this crazy world we're in along with you. We're from Manitoba, Canada. If, that's, if you're wondering, if you're new, I probably should have said this at the beginning. Uh, I've got to create some kind of an intro that sort of introduces us to you guys and to you new viewers right off the bat so you know who we are. But yeah, we live in, uh, in Manitoba, Canada. That's just above eastern North Dakota and western Minnesota for you Americans. Uh, and the rest of the world, you know where Manitoba is, right? It's right in the center of Canada. Technically, we're considered western Canada, but center. Prairies. I'm a prairie boy. Right on the eastern edge of the prairies, though. So I'm kind of a bush boy and a prairie boy at the same time. I'm right on the edge where the, the tree line turns into open prairies and farmland. Anyways, I'm uh, filming this ending portion on the Saturday. 
Hope you guys are having a great weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow.